Alright, today we're having a look at Sunil Factory, Chapter 1 by Bombard. Alright, so here we are in Sunil Factory by Bombard. It is a team pick, but I've always loved Bombard's levels. We've, we've looked at a number of Bombard's levels, uh, either in the show or on the stream. And I really, really wanted to take a look at this one. Uh, now, okay, what, what am I doing wrong here? Help me! Where do I go? I, I don't want to waste too much time because I, I want to show as much as possible of the level. Bomber does very beautiful levels, uh, very complex levels, sometimes quite long levels, and that can be a bit of an issue. Although the biggest issue right now is what do I, what do I interact with? I I know from the intro. This is... I, my play is terrible. This is not terrible. My play is terrible. Um, I know from the issue that we've got something going on with snails. I don't know what's going on with snails. It is beautiful. I mean, it looks very nice. But I almost feel like we're going to have to... I'm going to have to figure out what's going on here and then, like, pause it. And then do another three minutes, which is... Okay, I've, I've got the time to do it, but... Oh, wait. What? Why did we not do that before? I don't know. I don't know. It's probably my fault. I accept that whatever failures are on me. Always with the animations. Bombard has got such beautiful animations going on uh, with their levels. Why did I die? I don't know why I died. I... Hello? No, I'm very... My jumping is, is poor. My poor jumping is poor. That was very strange. This has got to be my fault, right? It's got to be me screwing things up. I... Want to get in here. I don't know why we died the last time. Also, attractive gel. Well used. It's kind of shocking because attractive gel is often not well used, but I appreciate its inclusion here. We've got loading? Probably? I mean, the complexity of the levels means that there's, there's probably going to be a fair amount of loading going on. We've only got 23 seconds. Bombard! I'm so sorry. I wish I hadn't screwed up at the beginning because now um, it's kind of screwed up at the end. Gosh, that looks nice. Not a lot of gameplay so far, but we're gonna put. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm doing it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put another three minutes on here, just so that we could see more. That's. I mean, that's where we're. I died. Why did I die? I don't know. Was it? Was there a death thing here? Apparently. Okay. Sure. Um. We don't usually do extra time on levels, but I really want to show as much of this as I possibly can. It is the hoverboard, and I am not a huge fan of the hoverboard. Hopefully, can we get on this? Yes. We are here. We are on it. And that's, I mean, that's what really matters, that we're here together, and we're on it together. What did I do? Okay, I need to be R2. What does R2 do? What did I... What did I do? R2. I'm... Th there's... Like... What? I don't... I don't get it exactly. But, you know... Sure, I should have been paying more attention to the... I thought I was supposed to jump over to the left, but not. It's my fault. It's all my fault. I should just, you, it tells you to do R2, and I didn't, and then it things didn't work out, and so I did, and they did. So, that's the thing. Can I get up this, please? Uh, no. Alright, fair enough. L1 plus hover. Now, that could have been, like, the... Gosh. Just look at all the, the little details. All the little bits that are flowing to the center. That is so cool. It is so cool. 
Come bird! Come bird! You, you, if, if you aren't this cool, bomb bird, you're, you're kind of taking the cool away from everybody else because there's an, a finite, a finite amount of cool in the world. I don't think that's true. I think that coolness is infinite in the world. Bomb birds being absolutely cool does not stop you from being cool as well. So just do it. Be your cool self. I found a secret. I don't know if was I supposed to find that? Was that I should have like looked at that more? I am kind of like I'm in awe. Uh, the good kind of awe, not the bad kind of awe. Because there's more than enough of that in the world right at the moment. There is something about the visuals and the sound that are really doing a thing for me. And I appreciate it. But it's kind of making me choke up a little bit. Ah, that's our six. Uh, uh, we did six minutes. We got to go. We got to go back to the hub. We're going to go there now. See you there. See ya. And we're back and Sunil Factory by Bombard and it's probably not going to shock anybody but I, I definitely felt it was a green circle it's very solid on a visual presentation standpoint which is something that always stands out for me uh, with levels but also I found the gameplay to be a lot of fun and and there really isn't I, I feel there really aren't too many things that detract from the level. Now, one thing that may be an issue for some folks, and I think maybe uh, feeding into the, the ratio that we see, is that the, the level is really quite beefy. Uh, beefy for me. I know everybody's time schedules are a little bit different, but clocks in at around 20 minutes or so, depending on how much time you take to really look at things and how many times that you die. Uh, it may be that there are just players that either don't have that time to give to a level or don't have the patience to give that much time to a level either, which is fair. But when I first played the level, uh, the ratio was uh, 2200 plays to uh, 121 completions. I forgot to take a note for the third time that I played the level just this morning, uh, but I think it was around 4,500 plays and maybe 230 completions, somewhere around there. Uh, I really encourage everyone to, to play through the level all the way to the end because it, it's really, really good, but I can, I can definitely understand if folks uh, get like halfway through it and realize they just don't have the time to finish it out. It, it does happen sometimes. Um, I, I mentioned that the level is really quite stunning visually and, and I, I do find, generally speaking, Bombard's levels to be of that ilk. Bombard seems to have developed uh, their own kind of trademark style. Uh, we see it on display uh, with the green problem back in LBP2, uh, definitely with Beyond the Roots, the precursor to this level, and of course this level as well. You've got a, a lot of pulled back cameras, you've got a pretty busy visual environment, but a very interestingly shaped visual environment. Uh, everything seems like it's filmed through a bit of a haze, and that's kind of a cool effect. It, it makes the lights stand out all that much more. There's a, a particular I don't really want to say pastel, but a softer color set that contrasts really well with a lot of the black that's in the level, the unlighted areas. So there's... Hi, my brain just stopped. So there's a really cool visual look to that. And I, I can look at one of Bombard's levels and say, yeah, that's definitely Bombard. Even if I, I didn't know because I, I, for some reason, didn't look at the creator's screen. So that's really cool. I love seeing creators develop their own visual style. I love seeing creators develop their own gameplay style where we can look at the levels and say, this is this creator's level. The downside of this particular type of visual style, though, this visual presentation, uh, having really busy environments and having a, a fairly well pulled back camera means that it can be easy to lose the sack thing in the environment, not be entirely sure where you are necessarily or how you're interacting with things. And 
that's a bit of an issue. It didn't cause too much trouble in this play, uh, but I, I could see it being trouble for some players. Uh, one other aspect of that is signage in the level. Oftentimes the kind of the lettering in that signage is is very thin line so that as well is easy to get lost there's one part in a hoverboard section uh, where it's telling you I, th I think to press l1 as you're you're going around this uh the circle it's going to shoot out a nice animated effect we'll talk about that more in a minute uh, but it's really easy to miss the sign that that tells you to do that thing um and another bit where you're you're running from these balls, you're supposed to jump over the balls, the attractive gel is going to give you uh, a bit of an extra boost to get over them, but the, the sign that tells you to jump over those balls is, is again, it's it's can be quite easy to miss. So that is a, a downside to this type of visual presentation. Now, as far as gameplay, and something that I will rarely say in episodes but this level is really good example of solid hoverboard section and solid attractive gel section and i almost never say that because i think that those particular power-ups and tools are often poorly utilized by players uh, there's a neat little bit where you've got this like water material and it's moving sinuously through the air and it's, it's been affected by the attractive gel tweaker and the animation on that effect is really really cool but just the the attractive gel itself it, it works for the scene it works for what the scene is trying to tell you and it doesn't kind of get in the way of gameplay and i really appreciated that a lot because a lot of times attractive gel does kind of get in the way of gameplay uh, there's a number of interesting animation effects that go on here. I don't think we see quite as many as in Beyond the Roots, but where you're, you're, you're triggering off these kind of like sparks, little shapes that are flying out of your sack thing. And hi, brain, thank you, that's twice now. Uh, you're, you're triggering off these little sparks. They'll, they'll, they'll shoot to a, a target and that target's going to kind of open up more of the environment. I love that interaction with the environment, by the way, but the animation on those sparks is just amazing the way they they kind of circle and swing around the target it looks so smooth it looks so well done and it kind of popped in my mind and and i, I felt this other times that i played bombards other levels that like is this lbp <laughs> is this really being done in lbp because it, it seems so out of place in a good way it seems so beyond what what usually we're able to get out of uh, LBP creation tools. It, it's a more robust tool set than I think a lot of creators uh, put the effort into learning. And I'm, I'm in that group as well. No questions there. Um, another bit of gameplay element that I, I liked, although I wish that we had seen a little bit more expansion on, there's a contraption that you'll get. Um, I, I want to say like about two thirds through the level. Uh, it's a, a dual function contraption. One, so you're going to be grabbing it with the Grabinators. You could trigger it to get a kind of a, a bouncy flight where you'll arc up a little bit and then it runs out of juice and then you kind of have to land before you can use it again. And that was a neat effect. It was really well handled. Uh, two, you'll be able to trigger some sparks with the O button, I believe. And those will open up a little bit more of the level. It'll open up the next progress point. I thought it was a really cool contraption. I thought it was really fun. I do wish, as I said, that we, we saw a, a few more gameplay sections that would have used either of those abilities uh, to kind of make something like that and then to only really use it in one section um, is a, a little bit of a letdown but it's a relatively minor letdown I don't think it's going to affect the overall feel of the level I had a great time with this level it was really really fun I think that you'll have a great time with the level as well just budget the time so that you can actually see the entire thing but this is the second time I've had to record this because the first time I had to record it, um, I had my microphone turned off on accident and didn't actually record anything, but I've really got to get ready for work. So, uh, Bombard, you did a great job. Thank you so much for sharing this level with the community, and I really look forward to Chapter 2 or whatever it is that you decide that you want to make next. And that 
pretty much does it for us here this go about. So from me, Disco, here in Osaka, to all of you out there, wherever you may happen to be, thank you, thank you. Arigato, arigatou, sayonara, see you, and ciao.